Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a hair video for you guys and I'm actually really excited about this one. So we can get really stuck in our ways, I know that I can. So when it comes to my hair, I really stick to what I know works and I know that is not the best way to go about things when you do reviews on YouTube. So I just wanted to share with you guys something new that I tried. So, without further ado, the new toner I tried, which you guys know I am a die-hard Wella toner fan, I didn't go too far. I stayed within the Wella family. But this is their Blonde Door Permanent Liquid Toner in Pale Platinum. I've seen it around, but I just hadn't tried it yet. Um, as you guys know or haven't seen past videos, I have a lot of videos on different toners that I've used. Still Wella, but I've tried the T14, the T18, um, with the additive of 050 or on its own. Um, so you can see those results. But um, my favorite has been T18 because it gives you more of a white, uh, white, bright, very light silver hair color as opposed to the T14. I use that when I want a gray, like a true gray steel color. That's what I use. But recently, lately, I really like the white or a very light silver. So I went with the Pale Platinum and I absolutely love it. I used it the same way I use my other toners. I used the entire bottle of this for my hair. I really could have went with half the bottle, but I wanted to use the bottle it came with to measure out my developer. So when you're going ahead to mix this up, it does state you need one part toner with two parts uh, developer. Now it says here you can use from a 6 volume to a 20 volume. I use 20. 20 is what I go with. I always feel like um, since the 20 will also lift while you're toning, I always feel like my hair sometimes just need it, needs a quick bump from my initial bleaching. Like maybe it just needed a little bit longer, but obviously I don't want to keep applying so much bleach to my hair. So if you use 20, you will get like a bump of a level or two. Um, so I went ahead with the 20 volume. It says apply to towel dried hair, develop 10 to 30 minutes. It's gentle to the hair and it tones pre-lightened hair evenly. So a couple things. Uh, remember, you want your hair very, very light in order for this to work. Went ahead with the whole bottle, and then I filled up that bottle two times with developer. So that's how you do. I know it could be confusing with the one part, the two part. Whatever measurement you're using, whether it's the one ounce, you want to double that. So one part, one ounce, two parts, two ounces. Overall, I love the color. It looks really, really good. Like, look how shiny it is, first of all. The color is really nice and white. I don't have any yellow tones. It's very easy to think you have yellow tones depending on the lighting. My bathroom, or I should say my entire house lighting, is warm. They're yellow lights and they're like in the ceiling. So in order to switch out bulbs, because yes, we I would like white lighting in the house. You literally have to change the entire socket. So that's, you know, that's a home improvement video there. Um, so to me, I could look in the bathroom and be like, oh my God, it looks yellow. But outside in white light with my ring light, it looks nice and clean and white. Um, I'm obsessed. I think you guys will be too. Definitely try out this toner. It is a little bit more pricier than what we're used to with our regular Wella toners. I could get my Wella toner for about like um, the Color Charm, Wella Color Charm toners. Um, those I could get for like three, four dollars at the beauty supply. I think I ordered this off of Amazon and it was fourteen dollars. Um, it did come with gloves and a comb, <laughs> so I don't know, but if it's going to keep giving me these results, I might be permanently switching over to this one. And then the wallet color charm in, in case, you know, like emergencies. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. As always, good luck to your hair journey.